Increase of about maybe 20 degrees or more for early tomorrow, and uh, we're going to be seeing our temperatures instead of in the 70s uh, all the way into the 40s by early tomorrow. Today's planner, I promise you, look at that hour by hour. We will be getting into the lower and middle 80s, and the rain chance will be increasing for the afternoon. So that's the main time that we're watching for a few scattered showers and storms. The severe risk is not extremely high, but notice we are at that lowest level marginal risk, level one for most of New Orleans and the North Shore. It increases a touch to the level two when you get closer to Bogalusa and Picayune and really especially farther to the northeast of that area. The main threat today, if we do see any isolated severe storm, would be a high wind gust. Let me show you our model really quickly. This is getting toward lunchtime, still just mostly cloudy, maybe just a stray shower, if anything. And then this is the afternoon, 2 and 3 p.m., starting to see a little bit of scattered activity. And then this takes us towards 6 and 7 p.m. And much of the rain may be wrapping up already. We'll have highs today in the 80s. And then by this evening and tonight, we'll be quickly dropping through the 50s and into the 40s by about this time on Thursday morning, uh, tomorrow morning. And we'll have mostly sunny skies tomorrow and into actually most of the rest of the weekend. And also tonight, just to note, it will be windy as well. Talking about birds, by the way, we've been talking about this as we're seeing migration begin from the south to the north across our area. For tonight, notice the chance of seeing the birds or the intensity of migration may not be that high, but generally when we look at cold fronts and things like that, sometimes it can make it easier to see uh, birds migrating because sometimes they kind of stop here when they encounter something rough. So. I wanted to say thank you to Brian Lucas, our WWL photographer, for this shot of bald eagles from last week on the West Bank. And uh, Professor Peter Yaki was giving me some information. The one on the right is a um, healthy uh, fledgling, a mature uh, chick. And so good news is that, you know, they've done a good job nesting here and have been successful. So bald eagles do, by the way, nest here in the winter. Then they migrate north in the summer, which is a little different from how most birds do it. And by the way, we continue looking for migrating birds in our area between roughly March 15th and May 15th. And right at the um, midpoint of uh, April or beginning of April can be some of the best. Joan Garvey has taken some beautiful photos of different tropical migrants that we see migrating from south to north, and they fly often right over our area. So that's why uh, we can see a lot of nice birds here in New Orleans. Here's the scarlet tanager. Here's the indigo bunting, also from Joan Garvey. And then look at this one, beautiful bird, yellows, reds, blues. That's the painted bunting. So thank you to her and to Professor Bob Thomas, also at Loyola, for um, helping me with all of this information. And by the way, the birds fly north starting at Yucatan and across across the Gulf and they start their journey at night. And so they reach New Orleans and really the coast in the afternoon. Now, if there's wind or rain, like we will have a front moving through to tonight and into tomorrow, the colder air, Sometimes if they encounter something like that, they get stopped on their journey and they land here. So actually a good time to look might be tomorrow or Friday. And if you want to see these, you can look, of course, around any sort of shade trees or any vegetation you have, or you could go to the park. City Park uh, has tons of these birds that sometimes stop there on their way to the north. So a little something about birds as we're getting into that season. And we will be cooling down. You can see the big cool down starting tomorrow and especially Friday morning ahead of a little warmer Easter.